back in the green room again but first we'd like you to subscribe to the reaper because i'm doing very good things here at reaper all right let's get to the topic today you know Corey hokum you know Corey kiss kisses up to kevin hart again did you see Corey caking for kevin hart again on his show last night Corey wants a lick so bad from Kevin Hart, it's not even funny, you know. I mean, when you just keep kissing a man's ass left and right and pumping a man up left and right and claiming that you's a man's friend that don't even fuck with you, you know you's a serious sellout ass nigga. The Reaper keep it 1,000, and this is what Corey is, a fake, phony ass nigga, you know. And the Reaper's not just saying this. The proof is in the pudding, you know. Look at what Corey was doing last night. When you got to keep bigging a man up that don't even mess with you. Kevin Hart has many of uh, comedy shows, right? Kevin's got many of comedy shows. I mean, you know, on his network, you know, Kevin can put him on to TV shows and, you know, have this nigga, you know, do an opening act for him or anybody else. I mean, Kevin Hart is big in the comedy world. The Reaper keep it 1,000. But do you see Corey on any of Kevin's stuff? You know, no. Corey was in Think Like a Man and had a teeny, teeny bit role and said, Kevin, cracked the door. Long as he cracked the door, I'm coming in. He sounds like he's begging. Kevin's put a lot of people on, and Kevin done helped out a lot of people. And this is the key part where you know this nigga begging, you know, because no man will say this, you know. Oh, uh, I could call him if I wanted to, and you know what? I just don't fuck with him like that. And you know what? I just hope that, you know, uh, Kevin give me a part in something or whatever, because I keep saying, if I need something, he'll help me out. If I need some money, he'll help me out. He's hoping Kevin see him, you know, bigging him up, right? Kevin, I never said nothing bad about you. Look, I always talk good about you, Kevin. Can you give me a role in something? Can you put me on your show? I kiss your ass. I wear a dress. I do whatever I want to, Kevin, because I'm a goofy ass nigga. This is Corey Holcomb. He'll do anything for money. And you see when the brother calls in and say, well, why don't you start off the war you talking about? No, oh, nigga, I'm influential. You know, I'm influential. You know, T, I'm bigger than you and this, that, and the other. You know, even though I do have to get my salad tossed and kiss ass, you know, just to get a little piece of money and I got to give my bitch, you know, most of my money. Nigga, I'm bigger than you. If a nigga got to do all of that, that that nigga got to do for that little piece of paper and he got to bow down to a nigga and kiss his feet and kiss his ass, the nigga that don't even fuck with him, right? You know this nigga do anything, the Reaper keep it 1000 and the brother, I think his name was Tory or whatever, he just called him out, 
He called this phony nigga out, you know, saying, stop being phony and stop sitting up there acting like you giving black folks information in the hood or whatever when you just playing them stupid and you part of the machine. This is what the brother was saying. And this is why he got offended. You ain't bigger than nobody, nigga. <laughs> if a nigga got a... Get his salad toss, right? And kiss a nigga's ass, cause he'll kiss a nigga's ass, he'll wear a dress. He wants to be on so bad and you so envious, Corey. Corey, you're not one of the top comedians. You know, wait a minute, a top comedian, you don't see them doing what you do. You on the comedy circuit, nigga. The Reaper keep it 1,000. I'm just being honest. Well, what top comedian do you know? Where's Cat Williams? Cat Williams fill out arenas. Kevin Hart fill out arenas. The people that I'm talking about, Martin Lawrence, Eddie Murphy, they'll fill up arenas if they do something. Nigga, you on the comedy circuit, you know, talking about you big time and you got thousands of dollars hats. And that's just for the hood, you know, the Reaper keep it 1,000. little peanuts that they giving you it ain't gonna amount to nothing because the reaper already done told you you live in california and you even said what you pay for rent in california Corey, you could you could buy a big mansion somewhere else right and you live in california so little money you got for california nigga ain't shit the reaper keep it 1000 i'm just being honest and your bitch is about to take half of that so you shouldn't be talking about you bigger than nobody and you in your 50s nigga you on your way out you know you better keep doing those little comedy shows and hope being that the hood feels you uh whatever because ain't nobody feeling you in hollywood you ain't got no friends kevin hart is not your friend man the reaper keep it 1000 he is not your he don't fuck with you <laughs> and he's not gonna fuck with you neither is nick cannon anymore neither is the motherfuckers that you claim is big time that's calling your show they don't fuck with you no more it's just the small time people that's why you got precise and marcus and all of them on your show or whatever have a big time comedian come on your show you say you a big time motherfucker and superstars fuck with you right how come kevin hart ain't did your show matter of fact how come you ain't done none of kevin hart shows he's got many of comedy shows he could put you on where you could get even more exposure if he your friend right and you consider him a friend and he's your friend and uh how come he ain't put you on none of his comedy shows but he got grady you know but he ain't put you on shit because he don't fuck with you he's not your friend stop sitting up there lying because you was in a small teeny part of a movie at one time and y'all may have been okay at one time or whatever, but y'all ain't okay now because that nigga will not fuck with you. The Reaper keep it 1,000. I don't care how many people he say he helped out. He's he's asking for a lick when he said Kevin done helped out a lot of people and Kevin done helped out this and that. Kevin done helped out uh, people in his circle and Kevin, you know, done put a lot of people on and, you know, and Kevin do this. And if I need something or whatever, some money or whatever, you know, Kevin will help me out. Ain't that a nigga begging? The Reaper keep it 1,000. That's a nigga begging, hoping this nigga will see that and give him a lick. You know, he's jealous of Grady because he's got a lick. Corey been in the game. You know, Corey been in the game longer than Cat Williams and all of them. You know, I'm just keeping it real. You know, I mean, done had more exposure on comedy shows. Cat used to do underground comedy or whatever at first. But he's not as big as them. He's not as funny as them. He's only funny to us. He's not a universal comedian. I'll say it over and over again. And this is not because he won't sell out and take anything that they gave him in Hollywood. He'd take anything for that paper. You better believe it. The Reaper keep it 1,000. He was on there begging like a bitch, and he would take anything for that paper, but it's just that people won't fuck with him. The Reaper keep it 1,000. They punished this nigga by not fucking with him, you know, um... Uh, in the entertainment business, in the comedy world, you know, that if that nigga could get in a movie or, you know, or get anything from Kevin Hart, he'd wear a dress, he'd bend over, he'd do anything they want him to do. The Reaper keep it 1,000. And I know it, Corey, because you can't fool the Reaper. That's why I be on your ass like a dog on the bone. Reaper, we keep it rough. We keep it raw. We keep it real. Make sure you subscribe to the Reaper because I'm doing very good things here at Reaper. Reaper out. Peace.